Byron McMaster has had to overcome many hurdles in his life. At the 2017 World Athletics Championships, he was favourite for the gold medal in the 400 metres hurdles, but he was disqualified for a lane infringement. However, instead of letting it get to him, Chiron shifted focus to his next race, the Diamond League final. I think that was one of the hardest feel ever running, so I was scared. But when the gun went off, like nothing was in my mind. Like I just ran, just run. Just run, 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 run. And then when I noticed I could have I was like, okay, let's run some more. <laughs> run, 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 run. I used it as my World Champs finals. And I was like, okay, well, this is not World Champs, but it's Demo League finals, you know? And I think people underestimate Demo League competitions. Like, sometimes it's harder than an Olympic and a World Champs finals. When I won that, I was like, okay, good job. Like, I went home and was like, yeah. And me and my manager, my friends, we laughed about it, we congrats, and then went to vacation. Season done. <laughs> Chiron hails from the British Virgin Islands in the Caribbean. Last April at the Commonwealth Games, the 22-year-old won his first gold medal at a major championships for both him and his nation. We never won a medal at the Commonwealth Games. So then everyone was like, no pressure, Kyron, but we need a medal. I was like, <laughs> OK, OK, OK. So um, it was important, you know, I'm glad that I could have brought happiness to the country, especially what we have all been through and with the life losses in a hurricane or so. I was actually grateful that I could actually bring some happiness back to the country. Everyone was happy. They was overwhelmed. When I went home, they showed me nothing but love. I would. I don't even remember paying for a plate of food when I went back home, because I went to buy food. They was like, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. I was like, OK. <laughs> That's how much love I got when I went back home. For like three to four days, I was home. In September 2017, Hurricane Irma devastated Chiron's homeland. Tragically, his longtime coach, Xavier Samuels, was one of the four people from the islands to be killed in the storm. It caused Chiron to question his future. It's hard for me to find passion and motivation right now as it is. Like, as we do in this interview, like, you could ask my um, friends, family, like, it's hard for me to find a motivation to actually, like, go there and really train hard. So, I guess with See, I really didn't want to continue track at the, continue track at the moment because I wanted to stay with my health of the country, you know, because I like driving trucks. So that was my opportunity to drive trucks up and down hard, you know? So that was my opportunity. But then my father was like, nah, 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 nah. You, you, you have a talent. You have a blessing. This is your calling. Like, we can do our path home. You go out there and do your path. Chiron's path may lead to the track, but unlike many athletes, the sport is not necessarily his calling. I like it, but I don't love it. It's a lot of pain, you know? People tell me I'm talented. I hate when people tell me I'm talented because they don't understand the stress that we get each other, the hard work that we get each other when on the track. Like, that's a lot of hard work. Like, after years and years and years, I literally had to put in overtime and hard work, sweat, blood, sweat, and tears just to get where I'm at. And that just proved to me, like, hard work overpays anything. Now, I ain't taking it from no other athlete that they don't work hard. I'm just saying that I really put everything into this track and feel, like, locked in, for real. In Chiron McMaster, the British Virgin Islands will be hoping for a maiden Olympic medal. But first, this year's World Championships in Qatar, where a podium finish would bring much needed cheer to his country. This is why I feel like I'm different from a lot of athletes here. Like, they're running maybe for their sponsor or probably for their own personal reason. But when I run, I have a country behind me. Like, I'm the only person right now from the British Virgin Islands, I would say, on the level that I am. So every time I run, there's always a big gathering commotion, something I have a country behind me. So I guess it just comes to hard work and dedication. Like, the people are back home and for coaches and stuff like that. I mean, it was a big deal for them, you know, like, again, we never had a 
medal in that aspect. And now that they could see that athletics, the athletes in athletics in the Virgin Islands is not going to waste, you know. We, you know, they're doing hard work and, you know, they're making things happen, you know. We're getting medals, man. So, um, they was really happy and they, they, they are pleased with the, the uh, outcome that I've given.